So now we're going to turn to another person who's mastered her field, and that would be Ashanti. Since the early 2000s, the singer has won multiple Grammys, she sold millions of records, and it sounds like she could have another run on her hand with her latest. We sat down with the New York native to hear about her single with Ty Dolla Sign and how going independent has changed her career. Back in 2008, I recorded my last album on Universal, and the deal was up. So it was either resign or, you know, get a new situation. And I had about seven offers from majors and I turned down all of them. I'm like, what are you talking about? You're not gonna take a percentage of everything I own for the rest of my life. I felt like it was borderline disrespectful. I was one of the first artists to come from having so much success and making history and topping billboard charts to moving into independent that time, I was a little frowned upon. You think independent, no budget, you know? So it was tough. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, just walk away into the dark and not knowing what was on the other side of the door. It wasn't so much of a, hey, I'm gonna run my own label. It was more of a, okay, you just got thrown into the ocean. What are you gonna do? You gonna swing or you gonna swim? Now it's like, People want to be independent because you have the platform to reach millions of people on your own. I made Say Less, and after shooting the Ciroc commercial, they wanted new music to go in the commercial. It kind of just organically matched with the vibe of the commercial, and it got such a great reaction. It was like, okay, we're going. <laughs> It was a blast working with Ty. And it's funny because we mutually wanted to work with each other. The Chitter Chatter was out there. We were texting for a while and we ended up linking in um, LA. We recorded a few records out there and it was just a great vibe. I think it's important to always keep the millennials around, the old folks around, <laughs> everybody in the middle, you know, just to have a true vibe and a true feel for what's really going on. I have to tell you the story. Swaley had posted a video of himself listening to Baby in a car. And then literally a week later, we were in the studio together. So the fact that those organic things happen, like you have to be in that zone. I love him. He's like my new little baby brother. It's just really, really dope that I have a connection and that there's so much mutual respect. I don't know how old he was when Baby came out. <laughs> you know, and the fact that we have some fire records together is like amazing. There's so many things on the table. So many people are like, you need to do an R&B mixtape. There are a few DJs that kind of want to do it with me. And it's something that at first I wasn't with, but now I'm feeling like possibly. It's simple to put an EP out there. I'm definitely working towards a body of work for an album. And nowadays I just feel like you have to continuously put out content visuals, music. Before it was like, oh, don't flood it. Now I feel like probably could do all three and be cool. Big shout out to Ashanti. She's been in the game for what seems like forever and she mm -hmm. continues to drop the hits.